You ready? Yes, sir. Okay, let's get going. So the very first thing, I'll probably turn, actually. The very first thing we wanna talk about is, like Ian said, you have a lot of great things going. Um, really impressed with the mechanics you have going. Where we see an area that we can help you is your release. And what I mean by release, um, if you notice at the end, we were hitting a lot more higher balls to you to mm -hmm. see how well you could deal with the higher ball and um, kind of your, your mechanics on how you would come around. Okay. And the better you can get at that, the more you can increase your release, and I'll explain what that is, the, 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 almost the more top spin, the more options you have, and the more when the ball gets above your shoulders and heavier, that you're gonna find it easier to deal with those balls. So what I mean by release, let's watch, let's go up here and watch yours. So as you make contact, you can really see how your arm is coming around in this fashion here. Right. Okay? And I just wanna show you that before we watch a couple of the pros. Okay. And you can really see kind of a marker for me is looking at your hand and your arm and how it's almost like you're doing yeah. a bicep curl. Yep. When we look at Roger Federer, as he's coming through, you're going to see where... Caught me. When you look at Roger Federer, I was like, why is he kicking me? Um, you see how the wrist releases through the ball. What yep. I mean by release yeah. is, yeah this rotation of the racket coming through. So he has this continuous path where the racket travels and keeps the speed to decel. Where your path actually slows down because it's, you're, you're slowing it down through the, the, the process of kind of bending your elbow. Okay. Yes, he's gonna bend his elbow at the end, but the release happened first, which led to the bend, which allows him to deal with balls in a lot of different locations okay. and heights. So what we're going to work on is making sure that as you get here, that we can create a release. Okay. Almost like um, Ian was saying something that was sometimes where we think about how we rotate. If you take your thumb and you rotate it this way, mm -hmm. you can feel how your forearm right. and hand, almost like a wave, or another analogy is turning a knob, as you uh, swing, it releases the racket, allowing you to deal with balls heavier or higher in your uh, contact zone. Okay. okay. So the very first thing I want you to do is I'm going to take you through kind of a, a shadow process of where we're just going to go through and shadow and help you develop uh, the, the awareness and sense of releasing on your forehand. So if you can go through your forehand right now and just kind of slowly shadow it. Okay. Huh. Good. Do it again. Shadow, good. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna help you transition. Good. So go ahead and go back. Good. And I want you to stop at my hand at contact. Okay. And have this idea, this sense of that, like we were talking about turning a knob as you're coming through, which allows more of the racket to finish this way. Okay. Where in the video, you could go ahead and oh. sorry, go ahead and continue to hold. Oh. Your racket was a lot of times finishing here. Oh, okay, exactly. Okay. Which now puts your wrist in that nice position, allows you to have this rotation. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and shadow a couple more times. Good. I want to continuously work on the process. Yes. Good. So here's something interesting that I want to bring to your attention. Look at the grip you have now. Is it more of an eastern? Yeah. Yeah. More of an eastern. You can really see how, see how um, the edge of the racket is on your take back. And I want you to watch as you're shadowing. Yeah, it's down. Yeah. Were you aware of that? I know I do that when I shadow. Okay. Um, but I wasn't aware of when I was playing, even though I do videotape myself. I guess I wasn't paying attention to that part. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that we 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 hopefully want you to get into a habit of as we're shadowing, continue to keep that grip that you, you would play with. One other clip to kind of give you another bit of reference. This is um, Del Potro. Oh, where'd it go? This is Del Potro, and the reason um, I wanted Ian to kind of bring up this clip because your original grip, grip is very close to this. Okay. And so I wanted to give you a kind of a really close representation of how even with his grip, he's able 
to have the active release we were talking about. You can see the mm -hmm. racket releasing and kind of a marker that we can use to kind of pinpoint this is noticing uh, how the grip is visible. Does that make sense? How the yep. butt of the yep. racket is visible. Yep. Where in yours before, um, I think it's this one. On your follow through, when you, where are we? When you're releasing, you can really tell uh, almost how the wrist is covering up a little bit of the butt of the racket. Mm -hmm. Some of you did release better as actually um, on some balls that were, uh, even Megan made the comment, when you started releasing a little bit, the ball actually became heavier. But um, a majority of them, you, we would get kind of a stiffer finish like, yeah. So you can really see here yeah. where the butt of the racket's pointing yeah. down. Yeah. And we wanna have it where if you're releasing, it actually will help have that butt of the racket facing towards your target. So let's try shadowing again. And uh, again, really focusing on using your grip that you would play with um, so we can be a little bit more effective about working it. There we go. Okay, much better. Be interesting to see what happens when a ball gets dropped though. Okay. So what I'm looking for is a kind of a baseline is as you swing, seeing we're going to now start seeing as you swing the rotation of the racket. And the reason I can see this is because the your racket's moving or rotating mm -hmm. more than your arm is. Before, a lot of times what we saw is the arm would dictate okay. the, the level of motion with the racket. Um, one other little key point is that we start seeing this the butt of the racket finishing more somewhere in line, which represents you coming and bringing the racket around. Okay? Okay, yeah. okay so now I'm gonna go, uh, Megan's going to, I'm um, gonna have you shadow two, and then just have you hit one. Okay. Uh, again, we're not focusing on the result of how heavy the ball is or where it goes, just the sense of seeing that you can create that releasing action with the ball in play, okay? okay? So you're gonna shadow two and then hit one and then repeat. No, I was going to say, I want to show them those because those look. Great job, Scott. Yeah. Really good. Again, looking good on the shadows, our Mark, <laughs> Megan, <laughs> and just the cue in. Means right, and there we go. So let's scoot forward a little bit. Okay. Much oh, better. Nice. Did you see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Awesome, Scott. Yeah. yeah. You see my face like, oh. <laughs> okay. Much better. Much better, again, what we're looking at level of movement mm -hmm. versus the hand mm -hmm. and where you're finishing. We're gonna have Ian toss you a couple of balls from the other side okay. and the exact same thing. Let's start off with um, two shadows and then two hits. Okay, again, focus on the execution of the release. Good, Scott. Good. So, awesome. Look at, and this is kind of, kind of alluding to what Kirby was talking to uh, about last night where your coach is telling you, awesome, you shanked the ball. Mm -hmm. But look at the execution. 
Mm-hmm. Execution's good. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> good. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And if, notice the difference of your rack face now that the ball's coming. It has a little bit more on it, and you're able to use a little bit more pace. Mm-hmm. You don't find your rack face is open as much. Right. It's really good. So let's go ahead and have you back up to um, this purple line here. Uh, two shadows, three hits. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. So markers we're looking at. Uh, here and here. Now I know you're looking at a little bit of probably about right here where you're wanting the racket face to be a little bit more forward. Mm-hmm. Um, what I think, yeah, it could be. Mm-hmm. That's nitpicking a little bit. But I think where we're, you're staying focused is having that activity and also if you notice how your arm's reacting differently now, right. where it's doing this, or before we were kind of, you, you said it yourself, it was like where you're almost, kissing what was the phrase? The yeah, Small kissing the bicep. Mm-hmm. We're, we're still kissing the bicep, but the bicep yeah. is working differently to create some uh, release. And again, continu- continuously looking that's probably more of what you're, you're looking, trying to go towards in your mind, where the racket face is right. constantly yeah, right. staying. Still is good. It's very good. This is where. where you are now. And this is the one that you were describing that was kind of like, eh. Uh, right, yeah. But definitely you can see. Oh, yeah. So here we go. We're going to get you on the baseline now. Ian's going to feed you. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue to do two shadows, and let's take it up to about um, eight hits. Good. Okay, here we go. So let's look at what we're doing. Good. Level of execution is really high. Again, that one for you at this point is like, yeah, it's, it's like 70% there. It's still really good. Um, and then now you can definitely, it's almost like, again, you made a little bit of that adjustment. Mm-hmm. But all of them are very good. Even the one that we're talking about, eh, it's still much better execution looking back to what you were doing before. Right. We're going to move on to putting you behind the baseline uh, and then um, work on a little bit of movement, probably okay. a little bit later. But you're okay. doing, uh, just going to work on putting you behind the baseline a little bit more. Okay. Ian's going to feed you a little bit deeper. Okay. Then we're going to start working on, again, the movement. Look at these. I mean, these are. What do you think? I think you're doing. You're, you're making my job easy. You're making me happy. <laughs> okay. yeah, Scott, it looks really good. Thank you. Yeah. Top. 
tiny bit, a little bit in the end, but being super picky, execution looks really good, Scott. Again, sort of really clear on the things we're trying to hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Racket face <clears throat> and the finish. Yeah, there, I mean this, good. Feels like I'm watching the same one. Let's go into, you good? Okay, let's go into actually pulling you uh, wide a little bit, a little bit of movement. So you're gonna start off uh, in the middle, Ian's gonna feed the ball a little bit wide and the same level of execution. Let's have you do just two shadows where you come over and you're just working on swing uh, with the active release we've been working on. Good. <laughs> so what did you feel about those reps as far as? Uh, it, it, it's feeling more comfortable, let's put it that way. Okay, good. But I'm not sure it's done correctly. That's what we're here to check. Yeah. So again, continue to look at Mm -hmm. The rotation, the racket face is in the right position, and the finish with the butt of the racket looking yeah. forward. Yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. So I like that. Yeah. The extension seems more out that way. And to talk about that ball a little bit, you know, your your racket path is just a little bit more out and around mm -hmm. compared to what you were doing was right. coming up and right. brushing. But again, look at where. And this is you moving to a ball. Don't you like the same player? Yeah, it's, <laughs> look at that. So you can really see, oh, sorry. Yeah, even, yeah. Look at where you're, just to be clear, mm -hmm. where your racket face yeah. is facing. Right. And this is one, I would again say, this is one where I bet you're like, uh, mm -hmm. And look at right. the big, the big difference. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. I would show you more, but it looks like we're looking at the same yeah, shot yeah. over and over again. So um, <laughs> it's like he's just doing good. So um, we're just going to go into an active rally. Uh, don't necessarily try to worry about you know hitting it right to in. It's totally fine. Uh, but in the process of yeah, he likes running. Um, in the process of uh, you guys hitting back and forth, still working to have this active release. Um, throughout your rally. Okay. okay. That was good, Scott. <laughs> good job, Scott. Markers were again looking at just the, looking how the racket's now moving on that line. Yeah, nice. that's very nice. And so like if I would say, that one might be one where you're slowing down a little bit, mm -hmm. but again, your level of execution is really good. Okay. And so as we, progress and go into another rally is bringing that racketed speed up and keeping that release the exact same, just a little faster. Okay. So as you were kind of talking about uh, earlier about, you know, hitting through the core, getting more power on the shot, learning to accelerate with the release is how you're going to do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to skip uh, a little bit towards the end. 
I think you really started to pick up and yeah. found the where yeah. you're extending and releasing at the same time. And I think that's that was awesome. Go back a little bit more. You guys really got into a good rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> you got a new toy to play with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is... Look at the lack of release. Mm -hmm. Now look at you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Oh. oh. Kind of tried to juice that. You got a little bit t mm -hmm. tense there at the end of it. Well, this is at the end when you guys kind of like, it was like, okay, we're past <laughs> the point of working on stuff now. Yeah. We got to prove a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but it's it's awesome. Like it's, literally, we got to five minutes. Yeah, it's like, like okay. I need to stop recording. We, we We're need gonna memory. run out of battery. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's awesome. Um, just a huge difference in your your ball now with releasing, and now that you like Megan saying, you have so much more awareness. I think about what needs to happen, and even as you, it's funny as you hit, you're train. I mean, you'd hit one, and then you're like, okay, release, yeah. release, and that consistency of it, especially as we worked our way back, is awesome. Awesome job. Thank you.